Welcome back to Fantasy Island. Thank and you. congratulations on season two. So much fun. In the season one finale, we saw Ruby processing the loss of Mel mm. and getting his blessing for her to be with Gina and try to find love again, I right? Know. So now that season two is picking up, where do we find her in her grief and moving forward with this new existence and a growing awareness of her true self? Yeah, I think um, season two, the pickup, she's processed. That, that time with Mel, um, he came and visited her um, at towards the end of season one mm -hmm. and really reassured her, like, it's really okay, you, you can move on and, and um, he had already passed, and so he was came back to just reassure her that this is really your chance to be you and let go and be free. And I think that is what gave her her push. Um, so opening season two, she's with Dr. Gina, and yeah, she's <laughs> feeling great. Um, but we find that well, some communication needs to be had between the both of them, but which is totally natural and normal. This is the first time Ruby's like going at this and mm -hmm. being in a relationship with a woman for the first time. Right. She has no idea how any of this goes. So I think there's a lot of um, sense of comfortability, you know, when you finally meet one person. It's kind of like when you're young and you're 16, you have your first, you know, relationship. And that's, and that's everything. And that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the, this is my person. Um, and then figuring out, okay, there's a whole world and I'm understanding myself for the first time. So. Yeah. It's a lot of self-discovery to come in season two. Yeah, absolutely. And tell us about portraying this character who is embodying her younger self with the knowledge and experience of someone who's older and wiser. I mean, that's a fantasy we all have from time to time, right? <laughs> yes, it's, it's great. I, I feel so much inspiration from my Nana, my own grandmother, and so that's what I base a lot because she is so intuitive, so smart, so kind, so passionate, very present, you know? And so I just weirdly fell into the character of Ruby. It just feels like home than anything else. Um, but I'm also learning a lot from her, you know, and a lot I think about the idea of surrender and what happens when you're trying to push um, water uphill, you know, yeah. it, you know, and so I'm learning as Ruby is learning, which is a really great thing for an actor to feel so um, invested and impacted by the character that yeah. they're playing. It's it's been really beautiful. We're just letting the island happen, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's kind of the whole premise. The island is always in surrender mode. You just got to go with the flow. That's right. Yeah. Well, we do see that Elena, or I'm sorry, Ruby is picking up on the vibes between Elena and Javi. Yes. Finally, Elena's always said that she's married to her work and has avoided relationships since her last heartbreak. But Javi seems to finally be making a breakthrough uh, after a whole season of pretty clear tension between them. Please tell us we're starting to get somewhere with these two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, um, you know, he's just cracking that shell, <laughs> chipping, away. Chipping, chipping away, away <laughs> as much as possible. <laughs> Takes a lot. Uh, yeah, she's apprehensive, you know, because uh, her, her duty is to the island. Um, yeah. And this is her, it's her lineage that's been passed down. So I think he understands that, but he's also, you know, he wants to push for that relationship. He's really invested in this woman. Yeah. And, um, you know, as I said, he's, he's cracking that, that shell and uh, the, her walls are starting to come down. So, you know, we, we open up in, uh, in, in season two um, and there, there is a relationship, you know, that is developed between these two. Um, you know, we ended season one on that cliffhanger. Will they, won't they? Yeah. So we open up in season two with that um, and now we're going to explore that relationship. And, you know, as we shot the episodes, you know, the writers have been so skillful in, in, in fact yeah. of like bringing in conflict between these two and like we're gonna stretch it out and you know see where it goes yeah so yeah as frustrating as it might be for him to get Elena to, to bring those walls down also that dedication to the life that she has that's part of what he likes about her too sure. Mm. yeah sure, sure sure yeah I think he's inspired by her on, yeah. on many levels mm -hmm. too yeah yeah and we're getting more details on Javi's backstory as well mm -hmm. his late military friend gave him permission to pursue the life that he truly wants similar to what Mel did for Ruby mm -hmm. Will this be the push that he needs to take things next level with Elena, or could he possibly discover an entirely different epiphany about himself? Mm. Maybe wow. he does discover an entirely new epiphany. Yeah, I think that, um, you know, we've talked a lot about the idea of, like, you know, the island rules, basically, yeah. and going with the flow and letting go. Um, and he got that confirmation last season, you know, right. with, his, with his friend. And uh, I think that's what he's all about now too. Like he's just, he's going with it. Like, and he sees something he wants. He's always been this guy. Like he sees something he wants and he goes and gets it. Um, and I think uh, Elena's a challenge and he liked the challenge. Um, 
but you know, and, and again, as we explore conflict between these two characters, we'll see like maybe it's a different epiphany. Maybe he has something else in his life that's pulling him yeah. even more dedication mm -hmm. and commitment, you know, and that's that's causing something. So. Yeah, yeah, wait to see. Yeah, there's always kind of a, a surprise lesson of at the course. end of every episode, right? Yes. And and the characters are not immune to that. Yeah, right? no. The right residents now. of the island. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a chance to see the season two premiere. I want to try to veer away from complete spoiler territory mm -hmm. here. But we have to say, I think fans are going to be pretty excited to uh, see your salsa dance. <laughs> 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 yes, uh, I can't wait for the fans to see it. Um, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, like, you did such a good job. Thank oh my you. gosh, you and Roz were on fire. It yeah, was so good. And, and she's really in her element. So like yeah. she, <laughs> like listen, she is a natural a born pro. dancer. Yeah. She's a pro. Yeah. Um, we got there for the first rehearsal, and she was doing her moves, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off, you know. Um, and I would, and I just went back, and and I would just practice for hours mm -hmm. and hours in front of the mirror and listening to salsa music and watching dance movies and we had a, a, a wonderful um, a choreographer on set and uh, you know when you walk in uh, to the set and you see how beautiful it was and how everyone was in their you know yeah, wardrobe, their wardrobe it just looking. looked incredible yeah. the lighting and, and it it was so fun to do I had yeah. such a blast doing that dance yeah. scene That's and awesome. um, yeah and I want to take salsa lessons now when I get back to yeah, Los Angeles yeah, yeah of course yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. fun very fun well, stay tuned for that it's definitely worth it it'll be <laughs> a fun moment for fans to see awesome. Uh, we just talked with Rosalind, and she had talked about um, you know, Elena still having more to unpack with uh, Fernando. We saw Mel come back to the island. Yeah. Could James return to the island in some way Let's and throw a little? <laughs> um, you know what? I hope Elena's eyes are just on, yeah, just on yeah. Javier. Um, but we'll see. I mean, maybe it adds something else to it. You never know with the exactly. island. Anything can happen. Yeah, yeah. anything can happen. Yeah. <laughs> so in the season two premiere, um, amazing guest stars set for this season, as always, of course. Uh, Cheryl Hines and Rachel Harris join us as a Romy and Michelle type mm -hmm. old high school friends. Obviously a blast, but uh, with every story, it packs a deeper emotional punch than you may expect. Yeah. Do either of you ever think about wanting to go back to high school or some of those tough times and getting a redo or oh just leave the, leave the past in the past? Leave the past in the past. <laughs> leave the past in the past. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, and the past made me who I am today, so it's all, it's yeah, all okay. That's it. yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. done with it. Yeah. Which storylines have hit you the hardest? I can think mm -hmm. of a couple that really took me out. Do you mean in the last season? A anything that you filmed oh so gosh. far? Um, I have for yeah, me this season, but I can't really. Oh give yeah, too he much can't story. actually anything say. Anything you will take. You um, know, I just you know, there's a there's a couple new characters that are introduced, and they're just impactful mm -hmm. um, on everyone's li uh, lives on the island, but um, you know, especially Javier. So I think that. Yeah, that was that was impactful for me. Yeah. 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 I can't say. <laughs> Anything from season one? Season really one, um, I would say the whole relationship with um, Mel and that whole like letting go and coming to the island. This was so not what she was expecting to happen. Right. She was just trying to get some relaxed time and from her illness, and wow, it just it turned into something so much bigger. So that was like a huge heart opening story oh my gosh that yeah. she can be herself and be proud to be her and um, you know discover this whole side of herself she kept hidden yeah. so this season she's opening to that experience and getting used to the new um, answers of all it and so I know I, I don't want to say too much because it all unfolds yeah. like back to back in each episode and what about uh, Ruby's relationship with Elena? We've seen their ups and downs. Yes, their ups and downs. I feel like <laughs> Ruby always knew. She's like, we're gonna be best friends. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I know you. You know, you know what I mean. And so I think Elena has softened with Ruby mm -hmm. and understood the relationship so much more. She's softening all around. Yeah, so, she yeah. is. She's she's starting to kind of relax because. We're knocking on the walls. Though. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We're really a family dynamic yeah. and you see that in the second season Ruby and Javier they, they talk a lot we become each other's like um, confidants confidants yeah. exactly to talk about relationships and things like that um, and same with Elena we we end up getting really really close yeah it's awesome this season that we get to dive in a little yeah. further deeper yeah. emotional bonds yeah. between the characters yeah, so. absolutely yeah. and before we let you go we have to ask what are some of your favorites, uh, old fantasy islands that you've gotten a chance to revisit or have fun with, just like doing some research for the show or oh you my like, gosh. like kicking it back? Oh my gosh, there was one, um, 
<laughs> there was one where like these these women had a fantasy to be like Rams cheerleaders or something like that for a football team, <laughs> and um, that, because they were like both married and had a whole like home life situation, they were like this is just a dream of ours. So they came and then got to meet like the star football players and mm -hmm. be part of their team. So it was cute. I don't know. The, the original was so, you know, light like the, that. The, the tone's a little different. Yeah, totally different. different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to recall back if there was one that I particularly... Oh, there was one with like these uh, these cheerleaders. They wanted to go. Okay. Like, <laughs> we'll take that as the yeah. universal answer yeah. for now.